Hello everyone, my name is Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install Luxart Vehicle Controls version 3 into Geysers 5M server. This is going to be continuing on with the 2024 creating a 5M server playlist. And this is going to be installing Luxart Vehicle Controls. It's basically a lighting system that can improve the controls of your police lighting and sirens. If you guys have ever played GTA 5 story mode, it's basically ELS but for 5M. Since ELS doesn't work on 5M, it's what it does but not very well. So you guys are going to want to do is hit the link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here. Scroll on down. Select this one right here. This is the latest version at the time recording the video. I doubt it's going to update since it doesn't need updating. But you can always check if it's the latest version just by the dates right here. Download the latest version available to you. And open the download on up. You guys are going to see a dependencies folder. And inside of here it's going to be Rage UI which is a script that this requires. And then also LVC, which is the actual folder for the Luxart vehicle controls. So install this, minimize your desktop, open your 5M server on up. Go to TX data, CFX default and resources. Right click, new folder. I'm going to call this one brackets and then we're going to do car scripts. And this is going to be a nice little category for all of our car scripts. Since like Luxart vehicle controls is a car script. We're going to use this opportunity to organize our 5M server. So we're going to drag and drop our LVC folder into our new car scripts folder. And any other car script we install, we can drag and drop into here. It saves us time with ensuring every single folder. And it also makes our server a lot more organized. One more thing we're going to do, right click, new folder, brackets. And then we're going to call this one dependencies because this is what we're going to put all of our dependencies from here on out. So call this one dependencies. Open it on up. Grab our dependency for Luxart Vehicle Control, which is Rage UI, and drag and drop it into here. And pretty much the same story with this folder. Every single time we need to install the dependency, we'll just drag and drop it into our dependencies folder. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1. And you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles calls custom maps custom menus literally everything you guys can need and you literally did not have to do anything so check that out down in the description below www.htnetwork.1 um now we have done that we're going to just head inside of our car scripts folder and then our lvc and we're just going to open up our settings.lua and inside of here it's going to be a nice little community code that we need to fill in you guys can see right here community id it's going to have to be unique for everyone but trust me pretty much no one's going to have the same unique id so just put whatever you guys want just like that, that will do for me. And then just save it. And we can close that. And now we can go to ensuring them on our server.cfg. So from here, the next step, I'm going to recommend just opening up a, another tab for, for your file explorer or just opening up another tab in your server. You can have these side by side like this. And then navigate to your server.cfg on the left. So TX data, CFX default, and then server.cfg. Open that on up. And once that has opened on up, we're going to scroll on down to the bottom to our last and shore line. Enter two times and we're going to do this. Two hashtags and then car scripts, which is going to be pretty much a subheading. So anything that goes below this subheading is going to be an ensure for our car scripts. But usually you're only going to have one since we've categorized it. So we can just ensure this folder on a whole. So we're going to copy the name of our car scripts folder to make sure it's the exact same, including capital letters. That is important. And then that bit's done. And then for our dependencies folder, we're going to copy this name like so. And pretty much do the same thing. But instead of putting it below the last and shore line, this time we're going to put it to the top or just under the top line. So we're going to do enter. Enter again. Two hashtags for our little title. And then we're going to do dependencies. Press enter and then type in sure and paste the name of our dependencies folder. Now, the reason why we put the dependencies folder at the top is because we need to make sure our dependencies start before the scripts that require them. I'm pretty sure that's self explanatory because the scripts need to be running that require them. So, what you guys are going to want to do is hit file, 
save. We can close our server.cfg and now our Luxart vehicle controls is installed. And just like that, we can load into our 5M server. And you guys should be able to see that the lighting system is now working. And as you guys see, if you spawn in a non-ELS police vehicle and you press Q, you can turn on the lights. If you press Alt, you can toggle the siren with the lights on. And if you also press O on your keyboard, you can bring up the Luxart vehicle controls basically your menu where you can toggle the little display I have on the bottom left here in your HUD settings. You can also toggle siren park kill. You can change the tones that play. You can change a bunch more settings. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Check out my website, hgnetwork.one if you guys are trying to make your dream 5M server a lot quicker because it will literally take you 10 minutes to have a 5M server set up with over 120 plus mods. It literally comes with 120 plus vehicles on its own. So be sure to check that out down in the description below and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.